Hello, welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb. I'm here on day six. Day six of kind of my live stream vlog of the life of a monarch butterfly, raising it from a caterpillar to a, a monarch butterfly. Anybody not here can rewatch the streams. They're all in the lineup. Uh, you go to the front of my channel, you have, you'll see where I grow garden stuff, fruits and vegetables, the second is flowers, and the third is all about monarch butterflies. Um, that's what I'm saying to anybody re-listening to the live stream. Thank you and welcome. Um, it's always good to know about things and be educated on things. And I learn every day from things. So I'm going to tell you a few things when people start coming in here. Thank you. It says three th three people here. One thumbs up. Thank you very much. Um, what do I got growing? Well, you're going to see a lot of videos, but I'm just showing you some new plants that I had started to do videos. And one's a bean, kind of a bean. One's a cucumber. One's a... Um, constantly growing in my in another squash over here. So constantly am I constantly, constantly outputting videos and out growing constantly everything for the first time and show you what it looks like. Um, I just give you a little glimpse of my world of what I do in the windows and all over my house and in my greenhouse and outside. So that's part of the gardening part of my channel, but really uh, I am vlogging about the caterpillar and just waiting for people to come in. So if it gets a little quiet, well, I might have to play a rock and roll music. We'll see. But I don't really want to do that to the poor little thing. So I don't think it needs to have loud music. I'm not going to do it. Um, but I'm hanging in there for a little bit. If it's slow, then I'll get off. At most 30 minutes, I'll be here. And yeah, up to an hour. So let's see what happens. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, thank you for lurking, I guess. Thank you for joining me, whatever way you want to join me. Uh, don't be shy, though. If you're new, come on and chat. Um, yeah, so anyways, I feel like I'm a little quiet here, but I'll tell you what, for those of you kind of giving me the thumbs up, there you are I was trying to figure out who was going to chat with me today. Thank you so much. You want to see the baby aunt Susan, Let, you want to see the baby? I'm going to call everybody's aunts and uncles to this little thing. So Aunt Susan, you ready to see how big it is? I did show a picture earlier this morning, but let, I want to tell you a little story. Hey, MT. Look, at I gave it new wheat. I was going to show you giving it new milk weed, but there's a reason I switched the container. But there he is. Hey, Sheila. There, Aunt Sheila, Uncle MT, and Aunt Susan. There you go. Not eating right now, but it just goes through a period of time. Um, but you know what it did this morning or this afternoon? So if you are planning on ever doing this, I switched the cage out quite often. I actually been rinsing out the leaves because I saw aphids on them. So new leaves come in the house. I get rinsed underwater, let them dry off a bit. And then I, I give her the new leaves. She's not hungry right now. But she's crawling. They start to crawl now. I'm going to put it to an angle. This lid, I found her on the lid of this this morning or this afternoon, I should say. It was like this, and I went to open up the lid, and she was right there. So they start to climb. This is day six, and now I'm noticing vlogging it. That day six, it's 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 an automatic instinct for these things to climb. So um, be careful, though. This is what I I'm doing now. I'm actually looking looking up. I go up, and I look at the top of the lid to see if it's on the lid before I open it up because I don't want it to fall off. So, yeah, I actually go like this. Okay, where is it? And then I make sure it's not on the lid because that's how what happened was the last butterfly, the very first one, climbed up here, stuck to it, and it, it formed a chrysalis, and then it fell off. So that's why I'm scared. I'm so happy you go one. I'm sorry, honey. So it's it's actually kind of educating you and, and showing you what I've done wrong. The not So I would be really careful. If it starts to stick to the lid, look first. Go really gentle. And it, it, you know what? It's the stage. This little thing is the stage of um, for the first five days, it was like a baby. I'll compare it to a baby. Uh, eat, sleep, and poop. Eat, sleep, and poop. Oh, sorry. That one had the, like the hiccups or something. And now it's like curious. At a toddler stage, you start walking around investigating everything and that's on day six that's why i went to the lid i think it was like start to climbing they like they like to climb it's their instinct and they're curious so now now you're talking about being curious 
stage. Look at and it's like the, doing the hiccups or something. I don't know what it is. You can see it. Yep. See, it's hiccuping. Yep. Thank you. I'll have it after. Thanks. Can you just leave it warm? I'll put it in the microwave. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. And so, have you got one? Yes, me too. And hopefully, I'll get some more. But uh, I'm gonna. This is my gold. This is my baby, and I'm trying to take care of it. Uh, so look at this. Look at you could never. Five days ago, you couldn't even see it. I had to bring it up to the screen for you to see it. Look at how big it is. Six days later from having it, look at how amazing this little creature is. So it's a lot. It's, I mean, I know a lot of things, but I learn all the time. This is like a really good thing for me too, documenting this for next year or future. See, it's like, it's got the hiccups. I don't know what it's doing, but it's like, you know how you get the hiccups? You go, hip, hip. well, that's what it was doing. And it's and it stopped. And there's a period that I didn't notice where it won't eat a lot. I was worried about it wasn't eating, but because I just never noticed that the last two years. And now really paying attention on a daily basis, it doesn't eat all the time. It eats, it goes through an eating spurt and then it stops eating for a while. Um, can you put a leaf connected to the top lid? I wouldn't do that. Hey, Chris Cook. Uh, hello, Chris Cook. Welcome back. Um, I wouldn't do that. That's yeah. I wouldn't do that, Susan. Do not don't don't encourage it to climb because it's not ready to climb yet. It's gonna this cheat this you wait till this gets big enough. And I know the stage, as soon as it starts to get fairly big, I'll be switching it into the other container, the one that's made for butterflies, where it's gonna want it's gonna have an instinct to climb. It has the hiccups. Do you see it? Watch it, what it does. It's like it's got like a hiccup thing or something going on. Let me see. There, just did it again. Oh, what the heck? Did you see that? It's like head banging. What the heck's going on? It was like the hiccups and it was like head banging. That is hilarious. Oh, no. Um, no, I'm not worried about it getting st it's, It has to get stuck, Susan. You would rather have it stuck to the lid than not at this stage. It's safer. And I actually took my fingers very gently very, very gently and rolled it off the lid to put it back on here to be careful. So I, I you got to be careful with it. You could rip the legs off or the, damage the head or anything. So I'm careful with it. Put it back on. And then um, you'll see as it gets bigger, I know about roughly when the size is before it's going to turn into a butterfly. So it's going to be switched to a bigger container, the one I have that I've showed you guys. Um, I'm going to switch it that way. Um, but not yet. It's still too small. It's still got a long way to go and it still could die at any point in time because my butterfly, one of them died at this age, right? Like they got this stage. It was about that size and it died. So um, I don't know. I'm praying that it, it survives and you guys can see it. Hi. Well, thanks. So did you watch the, the update one? Thank you so much, Thomas. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it was like yesterday. I just forgot. I, I put the files up today. I forgot to put it up. Like when I get off of here, I normally upload it and put it to the, the series that I'm doing. We're the butterfly. You can't miss it on the front of my page. But uh, day six. And see, if you've really been paying attention, you'll see how, how it's grown in six days. Thomas is saying hello to everybody. Um, I don't know who's out there, but a shout out to my friend, Susan Lee, uh, Thomas Jordan. Thank you for coming back. Uh, Chris Cook, if you're still there, MT, if you're out there, um, Sheila too. Sheila, you're working today. Look at, you can even see the movements. Like it was like hiccuping and then it went something weird with like a head banging thing. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing now. Let's see. Might be trying to sleep and I'm bugging it. Interesting, though. Oh, see, you see how it's like it's kind of breathing, and only the top part of the half is lifting up off the leaf, and the rest is uh, from the, the middle to the butt is sticking on there with the, the legs. I don't know. I, I'm sorry, guys. I could look at this thing for hours. That's what I did before I came on here. I was checking on it, and I sat for about an hour just to, 
watching it, uh, looking how what it does. Um, because now I'm so fascinated with it. The last two years, I paid attention, but not anywhere like this. This is like to really watch what it does, its behavior at different stages. Uh, it's just amazing me. Just amazing me. It just amazes me. And thank you. It says five people here, seven thumbs up. That's awesome. Thank you so much. So this is, yes, I come on in the morning as my garden part of it. And my afternoon is about the vlogging for this caterpillar. And hopefully I can get some more. Um, I'm hoping. Uh, and I wanted to, I shot some pictures. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll show you what the milkweed looks like. It's actually, I got to get some. The wild milkweed and it's flowering right now. It's at the stage where before it's going to go into, um, well, in the fall it'll start turning pods and the seeds. But right now at my friends where I picked this, it's flowering. It's doing really well, actually. Her house, uh, the milkweed's doing really well. I just, I didn't look for eggs. I've got to make sure she gives me them. So I just grabbed a couple leaves to feed it, which is not eating right now. So actually, let me vlog that in to say today is day six. And you can see that it hasn't eaten right now since it ate last night and, and yesterday, but it didn't eat today. Not yet anyway. Maybe tonight it'll eat. I don't know. So it doesn't constantly eat is what it's telling me. There might be a stage where it needs to just, um, I don't know, set still and not move. I don't know. Try to stay cool, eh? What do you got? What did you say the temperature was? It's beautiful right now. A little bit muggy. It's going to rain again. It was storming this morning. I got to go outside and check the garden, and then it's going to go again. I can see it's going to rain again, but I'm not complaining because it actually our ground and our grass and everything needed water. So it's like I have a day off from gardening. I pulled some weeds out, but I didn't go water or anything because it's nice. Taking advantage of having the day off. Day off in the garden. So, um, you guys, yeah, that's hot. So, Susan, how are you doing anyways? How are you feeling today? Are you okay? And MT, you guys still out there? Sheila? Sheila, if you're still here, do you got to work today? Um, Susan, how's it going out there? Are you okay? Uh, you know, and uh, MT, what's going on with you? It looks like still Chris Cook is talking and, and Thomas Jordan get to know each other. That's nice. Thank you for coming, you guys. I just want you, you know, actually, Thomas, you'd be a good one to actually start finding this stuff. Um, you guys, if you really check out what I'm showing you, you're going to be able to spot them out now because I'm showing you. I need to get eggs, though. If I can find an egg, you're okay, honey? You are more than welcome to come, Thomas. I appreciate that. Um, I'm getting to know you, Thomas. I think um, you're, you seem to be a very nice person, and I, I, I welcome anybody that's a, a good person on my channel, my I call it my, um, everybody knows me. I keep it non-drama, peaceful, educational uh, channel. That's what I've done for two years. I kick out the trolls and just want good people here. And all of us learn from each other is what I want to say. I can't wait, though. If I can find one from an egg, then it'll be really cool to show you because it's really hard to see them. You can see them, but it's like a white hard thing on it. Yeah, Chris Cook. Tell us about you. I can't examine your channel right now, but if you come and join me in the morning, I will definitely check your channel out. Um, I do um, OBS. So, Oh, I got the cat. See, I told you. I showed the cats, and they're fighting. I showed them this morning. Hey, guys, stop it. See, this is what I get to do. Um, when they start fighting with each other, I have to tell them to stop it. But you met them all. You met Shadow, Midnight, Milo, um, and Andy. I showed all pictures this morning. So, Chris... You want to meet some more good people. I live stream between 9 and 10 Eastern Standard in the morning every day. 
Um, it's a little, it seems to be more busier in the morning. I've been doing all this four or five years. I do a lot of, we'll have to check you out, Chris. I'll do it. I don't do it right now, but if you come to my live stream uh, tomorrow, um, after I do my subject of the morning, what I talk about, which tomorrow I'm doing sunflowers, then I go in and check. If you're still with me, I'll check your channel out. And I'll give you a shout out. I'll go to your channel and I'll literally on my live stream, go and see what you're doing. Same with, I got to, I owe that. Yeah, that kind of was growing. It is. Hi there. Creative, creatively created crochet. I love you, Dolan. How's the husband? And is he still singing? Yeah. We do. We always sing. We are family. I got all my brothers and sisters with me. We are family. Just saying. You have cultivated an awesome group of people. Really appreciate being welcomed in. I'm definitely going to be incorporating some plant identification like you recommend. I think it's going to be a good thing for you, Thomas. Um, yes. And I owe creative. I can't do it now. So you got to guys got to come in the morning. In the morning, I'll shout you out better. I will. This is how I'll do it in the morning. So come and join me for the butterfly. Obviously, I appreciate you guys being educated on how to raise a monarch butterfly and, and see the stages. But in the morning, morning is more like gardening. And I talk about uh, whatever item for the day that I've grown. Then I'll get into checking out your channels after that and give you shout outs. And absolutely, I'll do that for you guys. Um, the more you come, the better off I, I shout you out and talk about you guys. Uh, that's how you become long-term friends with me. Um, and you met some awesome people from me because Miss Southern Belle's not here right now. She normally is. I Through Miss Southern Belle, I met Creatively Created Crochet. Um, Susan, I met a long time ago too, and she's my favorite mod and my best mod in my channel. Um, and I hope she feels better. I, I know personally about these people. I've met them in real life, some of them and they're long-term, they know me and they're long-term friends. So that's my channel. I might not always be busy, busy, but if you get to know it, you become part of a family that are awesome, real good people. Um, I can tell you for over, I've been on the internet also for six years and I'm telling you, I met a lot of weirdos, a lot of trolls throughout me and try to change my channel to not adding more drama. And I, I refuse that. Never drama, always educational for me. Hello, Joel McCloy. Welcome. So, yeah. Um, and if you pass the love and tell people about me and bring them to my channel, I'll shout them out and help everybody out. You guys get to meet some really cool people. Hey, we love you too. My husband is great. Today is our eight. Wedding anniversary. Oh, my God. Happy anniversary. Let me do a song. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, creative, creatively created crochet. Happy anniversary to both of you and many more. Absolutely. That's not an easy thing being married a long time, by the way. So I'm going to I'm going to give that positive thing. Oh, my God. The cat's right on my shoulder. <laughs> Shadow, what are you doing, buddy? So you'll hear me through live streams. I'll always be talking to my cats because they all come out and need some attention when I'm live streaming. They seem to feel like I forget about them. I'm, oh, Joe, of course you are. Joe, thank you, honey. I forgot, Joe, let me get used to your channel name. I forget you, Joe. Sorry, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah, so you want a nice family right here? Right there, Joe and... Those two are excellent crocheters. I just, I, I think they're really a nice couple. I like them a lot. Um, I got to get going to your channel every so often, but I will definitely shout you out um, and check what you got going on. But um, yeah, what a, Joe McCloy and creative, let, like I have a bad memory. They, they're husband and wife and they're such a nice team. I'm Dana. All right, Dana. You know, Dana, it might take me about three years to get to know Dana, but uh, it takes me a while. You have to come all the time for it to click in my head. But uh, they're a lovely couple. Creatively created crochets are a lovely couple. And Joe has a beautiful singing voice. Uh, you had to check it out. And she's so talented with create uh, crocheting. And so are her husband. They're, they're awesome channel. Really nice. And you can all check each other out, like I said. Um, all I ask is come on and give me some love and you can introduce to the rest of the family and you can all meet each other, do whatever you want, but just come back for me because I kind of need the help too. As much as I want to promote everybody, I kind of want to educate on my stuff. If no one's ever listening to me, then no one's ever going to get learning about gardening or anything else that I do. Just like the super talented people that come to my channel. 
Got to go. Great stream. Much love. Got to go. No problem, Chris. Thank you for coming. You know where to find me. Check me out in the morning between 9 and 10 Eastern Standard Time and at night uh, for a little while. No more than an hour. 30, 45 minutes I stay on and just I'm basically talking about the caterpillar. That's what this live stream is about. Yeah. So if you want to meet the people, come on in the morning. Uh, that goes for everybody here that wants to come back. But at night, I see different people. Hey, there he is. Speaking of, you want to meet a nice guy? Will, the rocker Will. Let me tell you about each of these wonderful people that I know. Will, the rocker Will, is a vet assistant. No problem, Thomas. See you later, Thomas, if you're leaving. And that's my friend, Will, the rocker Will. He's a part-time. All right. I'll see you later, Thomas. Um, yeah. All good, guys. Thank you so much. And if you don't, come on and watch the vlog. If you can't come, watch the vlog later. It helps me out. And I'm also educating everybody. So pass the love on. I don't really, I'm careful with kids coming in. But if you have kids, let them watch the live stream after it's not aired anymore. Like when, it, when I'm done airing, um, let them rewatch it. You want to show them what, I, what I'm doing here? Don't bring them to my live stream because it's an adult channel and I'm trying to be safe with kids. But if you have kids... And you want to see the replay, go for it. Watch the replay with them as I show you how to um, raise a monarch butterfly from caterpillar now. And eventually I'll get some eggs to show you. Um, I work with sweet animals. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Yes, we love you too. I will definitely be back later. I promise Walmart is packed here. Sweet midnight. Do you? No, that's no, the callers. No, 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 the call. You got it wrong. Well, it's not midnight. The caller is the only one that has a caller. Is shadow. If you hear that bell, that's shadow. That's not midnight. The other ones don't have, well, they got collars, but wait a minute. I don't have bells on them, do I? I have to think. No, because they only get, they get a special um, harness when I put them outside. So no, the only one of all four cats, when you hear a bell, that's shadow. That's what I'm going to say. So let me shove this little baby up a little higher. Yes, shadow. Yeah. Hey, well, I, you weren't here. Um, the live stream this morning, I, I actually had a lot of fun. I was having so much fun. I stayed on for two hours. Plus I took pictures of all of them and was kind of joking saying, look at the hard life they lead. And one of them's on the back of the couch. One's on the chair. One's on the other chair. And one's on, on the, the Milo was on the, the house I built from on a cardboard. So, um, I showed all of them that sweet little counter. Yeah. Look, you want to see? This is what I want to show you guys. I want to educate everybody on it. Plus, like I said, if you have kids, do not bring them to my live stream. The live stream is adult, but they can watch the replay to see how what I do on this is they're more than welcome to watch the replay on this because anybody can do that. Well, hello, Zoo's at home. How are you and welcome? Zoo's at home. Do I know you? You said you're new to my channel and welcome. Um, I don't know much about you, so let's check. I don't know if I can check you out right now. That's what I'd like to do is get people checking channels out to make sure I'm safe and I don't have any trolls coming in. That's what I need for you guys to learn how to do because it helps me out when I'm yapping and and I don't I, I, I just want to know these are legitimate channels that come. So let's paste and see if he's a channel. Let's go see. No, nope, didn't bring me a channel at all. Not to say he's not. He's probably new. Uh, let me know about yourself. Uh, Sue's at home. Are you a, a running channel? I don't. I can't find you. Are you just visiting? Uh, tell me about yourself, where you're from. Do you find this cool watching a monarch butterfly? Oh, the caterpillar. Um, everyone remember to hit the thumbs up for Mrs. Green Thumb and family. Thank you. Thank you, Will. I love how you word that. I hope you copy and paste it. That's cool. I think you do, don't you? That's a everyone remember to hit the thumbs up for Miss Greentham. We're all family. Um, and Susan words stuff like that too. So you guys are awesome. Susan, you're great. Is he good? Uh, if anybody knows how to do that really well, um, and if you don't mind, you guys to check the channel out to make sure it's a legitimate channel um, that I'm safe. That's what I want to know. Uh, when, so I don't have to worry about it. it's a troll or anything like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, I got to run. I will be, yeah. Yes. Will is awesome. 
I got to run. I will be back tonight. I'm sorry. I have to run. No, don't worry about it. Like, no way. It's okay. Well, I love you. See you later, buddy. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm good. You have family. Same as if Susan doesn't feel good and doesn't show up, I still miss Susan and you. So that's all good. Just here chilling. Oh, cool. So we did we get to know anything about you? Are you a running channel? Or you're just chilling and do you find this interesting? Tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from there. Susa home. Are you a man or a woman? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Without you can say where you're from. You don't have to say what city, but you can say are you from the United States? Or if you, you feel comfortable, you say I'm from Michigan, USA, uh, if you're Canada or UK, wherever you're from, if you're from India. Pakistan. I don't really care what country um, at all. I just care what, you know, a little bit to know that you, about you. That's all. It interests me of where people come from when they come to my live streams. And since you're new, I hang out here. Uh, I'm vlogging every time after 4 p.m. Eastern Standard normally. And in the morning between 9 and 10 Eastern Standard, I come on with gardening stuff. Uh, that's what I've been doing for quite a while. And I enjoy it, actually. I enjoy like right now, all that stuff you're seeing here is videos I'm going to do. You're going to see what it looks like when it's grown. So right there, you got cucumbers, and I got um, a squash, and I got some beans. And this will all be turned into videos when they're totally done, grown to the height. I put them outside and everything. Yeah. I'm from Canada. I, I have been to Boston, Massachusetts. I love Boston. Is that if you're from Boston, I really enjoy Boston and the ship. I went on all the ships that are parked in Boston, and I always go, pack the car. I'm going to pack the car. Do you have that Boston accent? Um, I can't find you, Sousa. What's your channel about? might help me to find you. Um, yeah, and actually, I think that's what Susan's son, and that's from, they're from Boston, and and. The, and I was going, park the car. Come out, park the car. So I'm going to put this. Oh, look, it's lifting up. I just want to show. See, is I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if it's taking a nap or it has indigestion. I don't know, but it's weird. It's done to an angle. Let's see. Maybe you can see it better. See? It's um, lifting its. Its bottom is uh, stuck on it with the legs, and the top part is lifted away from it. It's like it's curled up the legs. I don't know what it's doing, and it's definitely not eating. It hasn't eaten for a few hours, well, several hours. So I got worried about it the first couple of times. It never ate for, like, almost 24 hours, and I got, oh, my God, I think, well, it doesn't look like it's going to make it. And then it ate like crazy, and then it stops to take a break. Can you look up their habits? Um, what do you mean by their habits there, Susan? What do they normally do? I'm not sure what what exactly you're looking. Um, and I would have to do that offline. It's hard. To, I can't do it right now to, to educate. But, yeah, I could do that tomorrow and probably talk about it tomorrow. So what? Can you look up their habits? Like meaning do they twitch? Do they? I don't know. I'll tell you what, maybe I can look it up after and see their characteristics or whatever they do. Whatever they do, if this is something, a normal behavior for them, I don't know. Oh, maybe why it looks like it's hiccuping. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, sounds good. I'll see if, if this is a normal standard thing Saudi picked up. Yeah, well, there's not much I can do if it's not okay, Susan. They, there's no vet or anybody. It, I have to let nature take its course. If it's, it's something wrong with it, it's something wrong with it, and I can't do anything about it. I learned that much by doing it. It's sad that I could lose a butterfly. At any point of stage, you can lose a caterpillar. Um, you could. I, I don't know what else to say. But I will check up to see if it's a normal thing, a normal behavior. I don't know. Don't know what else to say, but I just, yeah, I know. I heard they can get parasites. Oh, yeah? Uh, maybe. But um, I, I um, since I saw those aphids, I cleaned that off for them. And I rinsed the leaves off 
I, I didn't today at first. And then I went, I saw one and I went, okay, that's it. I took the leaves off and I rinsed at least the one and the other one looked like it was fine. Do they get parasites? Yeah, there's not much. I don't, I guess they could. I guess I'd have to look. I don't know that part of it all at all. Um, I just know that I have lost them. Uh, some eggs don't hatch. Um, some hatch and they don't, they only live for so long before they turn a butterfly. Don't know the, uh, you can't tell at this point, if, whether it's a girl or a boy until it turns into a butterfly. Um, lots of things. And like I said, I learn. I know what I know, but this has a really been a fascinating journey with me this year to find out what's going on and just everything is different. This one's different. I told you, um, for instance, this one wasn't hatched with my house. It was hatched at the store where I got it. Yeah, maybe. Is this a all woman channel? Absolutely not. No, no, there's guys. I, I run the channel because I'm a gardener, but no, um, men, women come all. Yeah, no, it's not just, it's all sexes. Yeah, men and women both come to this channel. MT, are you still out there? MT is somebody I met in real life from Pennsylvania. He's a man. Um, uh, there's different people that are men that come to my channel. Not, but right now it's just a few, me and Susan are women and some other women, some men. Yeah. Yeah, I got to watch all your videos on this. So sweet. Oh, thanks, Susan. I appreciate you watching it. And because if you don't come and you watch it later, uh, that helps me out. And it's it's cool if you're watching it on your own time. Um, yeah. And uh, you got questions when you do see me live, ask me what I don't know or know, and, and I'll just throw it out there. But I will, I'll, after I get off here, Susan, I will see what I learn about the habits of it. If anybody's educated on the habits of it, that's a side that I don't know much about. So maybe I'll check into that. And maybe tomorrow you can ask me and I'll say, yeah, I did check into it. And this is what I've known. We are definitely family and it doesn't have to be just women, men. A lot of us. Will is leaving. Will is another one. He's an assistant vet uh, that comes to my channel and he's a man. And I have Mike that's uh, an older gentleman that comes to my channel. I have many different women, men, different varieties that come to my channel and educated from all over the place. I mean, uh, Rachel's a school teacher. Um, I can just go on and on. MT, um, MT likes forging and they're all talented. And there's young Jillian, who's my favorite young man that I don't normally allow people in here that's underage, but he's the one that's been coming to my channel and I don't want to stop him from not coming because he's a very nice young man, Jillian Chip. Sometimes we have trivia, sometimes challenges. Yeah, we do all kinds of stuff, don't we? Um, uh, uh, and, uh, sometimes we did, we did Christmas stuff, but mostly, um, if I do trivia or challenges, it's going to be on my channel, which is gardening, nature, and travel. That's what I'm going to tell you. I fall within what my channel is supposed to be. I didn't one time at time, one point in time I didn't. And now I want to kind of like stick to it. If I sing, that's cause I like singing and it, it promotes channels and whatever, but normally you'll see me. I, my channel is changing more and more to educating people on what it's supposed to be about. Like I said, gardening, uh, nature right here is nature right here, right in front of your eyes is trying to, you know, monarch barters, there's not a lot around and I'm trying to raise them and show you how. Um, my growing season is pretty good. As you can see, it's not long. Okay. That's why actually I want to uh, say something about that. Thank you for bringing up Sue home. Sue's a home. Uh, my garden season runs from, I already proved it because I lost some plants. I cannot start growing plants outdoors until probably the third week of May, second, third week of May. I planted the second week of May and I got hit a frost and a frost killed a lot of my plants. It almost killed my peach tree. But thank God you'll see in new pictures that I saved my peach tree and it's coming back. I didn't get any peaches, mind you, but I thought I lost the whole tree from that one one thing in May, second week of May, the frost killed. It was amazing what it did in one day, what it, how much damage. Anyways, so basically the third week, same, yeah, same. The third week um, is safe to put my plants out. And, and I can go all the way from probably October. Uh, October Cicerella, hi, darling. Hello, how are you, darling? Probably October, I, I'm somewhat safe, but the frost starts setting in 
there's a chance the frost could sit in the, the last week of October, definitely in November for sure frost. But sometimes our season can go that we have nice weather um, in November, all the way up to November, so weeks in November. But that's iffy. October, somewhat okay. November, really iffy. So that's my growing season. That is why somebody asked me, uh, and I'm going to explain that right now. So that is why do I start a lot of stuff in my greenhouse and in my house? Yes, I'm showing you because I have no choice. Thanks, Susan. Yeah, there's a, um, I have it. You, you'll see a miracle picture and, and there's a video on my garden, uh, different areas. That is not even including the update I'm going to show you because my update, my, my um, fairy garden changed. My plants are growing in. The, the flowers are looking beautiful. Uh, my lettuce is getting bigger. Um, my garlic, I think, is going to be ready to harvest pretty soon. So everything has changed a lot. Oh, thanks. It's going to be, I'm going to have the final one in, in September, October. You will have final pictures of everything that I've grown in, uh, in its best stage, like the roses, the flowers, the, the gourds. I'm crossing my finger go well. Different squashes I got grown on, pine squash. Hey, Elsa. Hi, sweetheart. I am doing excellent. Do you not, I'm here. This is vlogging about my caterpillar there, Cicerella. Um, did you? There, it's getting awesome. Susan, I can't wait to show you again. Um, I'll show you flips throughout in the live stream in the morning. Um, I'll I, I took some pictures, so maybe I'll show you a few pictures of changes. But technically, I'll do a final video, like I said, September, October, where you'll see all the stuff at its best. Like my flowers, um, I have uh, hibiscus in the in the front that I bought. Oh my God, I haven't gotten a good picture of it. It's a beautiful peach hibiscus. It's it's just gorgeous, uh, the flower. But what I learned from hibiscus is they'll bloom and they're gorgeous. And then within the next day, the flower's dead. So the flower does not last long. It comes out really fast and then it dies off within, I think you get to see the bloom about 24 hours and then it's dead. The, the flower's crazy. Um, oh, cool, Else. Good for you, honey. Congratulations, hun. Oh, bring your hibiscus in. Yeah, I got to bring it in the winter. Uh, if I don't, it's going to die. But, Susan, there is um, hibiscus that I grew before that are, they mixed it with something, and you, they're huge, though. I don't want it because it's almost a big, huge bush. But there is a hibiscus to my area that's um, a perennial that you can grow outside. This one, no. This one's got to come in the house. I, I know all about hibiscus. I Actually, I want to do something kind of cool next year with it. Um, did you? You had one for years? Yeah. I know I know that that one comes in. Um, and if I don't want to keep it, well, I, I guess I know I'm not keeping it, but it is pretty big, and I don't know where I'm going to store it in the house. So I haven't thought for sure if I'm keeping it or not, um, And which is sad. I hate killing off a plant that's not supposed to be outside, but. Uh, it's you, it's kind of big. It's growing really nice outside. And if I bring it in, well, you'll see the pot, the pot is too big to bring in my house. So I don't know. MGG flowers, my favorite plants. Are they like, a, uh, you know, what would be cool, Susan? I have never did this challenge. I can't find seeds, but okay. We, I know how to uh, propagate um, hibiscus. I know different things, but I, I think it's extremely hard to grow a hibiscus plant from a seed. And you know, I'm all about growing things from a seed. So um, of course I like doing all this other stuff, which I'll get into, but right now my love of it is taking a seed and growing, look at the plants. These are all little teeny seeds. Look at them, you're seeing them right now. Look at, this is my beans. Look at what they look like. Look, look at here's a, this is um, a squash that I'm filming. It's not ready to go outside yet. This is uh, cucumbers. So I'm just telling you, I'm just fascinates me when I take a seed and, and it becomes a beautiful flower by the end of summer or, or it becomes a perennial or like I do have perennials out there that I grew from seeds too. So um, it's just, it's just a lot of fun, but I got to go back to the reason I'm live streaming in the morning is all about gardening. It is a beautiful transformation, Susan. Absolutely. I love it. Um, at night is, uh, I will get sidetracked about gardening because you know my love for gardening, anybody that knows me, but um, I am here to educate on this little baby. 
this one right here, um, you know, that's what I'm here for on afternoons. I doubled my garden this year. Oh, that's cool. So how much garden area do you have, Suze? Suze at home. And what is your favorite thing that you like to grow? What's your favorite thing to grow? And Suza, I recommend, I, I like all of you coming to, to visit me with uh, educating you on the monarch butterfly. But if you really want to talk major gardening, come on in the morning. Um, you'll get to know me from nine, nine in the morning till 10. I, it's when I wake up. So that's why I put it. I wake up and I come, I know, don't, I don't normally start my live stream past 10 o'clock in the morning because I got to get off and do my gardening. So nine, 10 Eastern standard you is where you see me. And, and tomorrow's going to be about sunflowers, the subject sunflowers. So I'm going to talk about sunflowers, what good, what you can do with them, what they do, and then um, show you the video, how I grew sunflowers. And then like the link will be there for growing whatever video I, I did. And then we talk about what other, other things after I do my main subject, then we talk, you get to meet each other. I'll talk about what you got going on. And we just talk about different things. I play music. Um, yeah, that's what I do in the morning live stream. Afternoon, like I said, it's more of a vlog. Uh, I don't mind talking about gardening because that's what I am about. But I do think this is going to be really cool. Oh, you got watermelons, uh, summer squash. I didn't do summer squash. <gasps> I wonder if I got long enough time to do it. Um, I got seeds sent to me from California along with, how do you think I fell in love with zinnias? Oh my God. That was two years ago. A channel that's a garden channel sent me, uh, sent me some zinnia seeds. Um, I didn't even know what that plant was two years ago. Well, God, I fell in love with it last year. Oh my God. I loved it. And so of course I grew it this year because it's for butterflies and it's just gorgeous. And I watched this video on, on zinnias where tons of butterflies flew to these this plant. So, of course, I have tons of, I gave them away. I gave some to my daughter in that. I have lots of uh, zinnias I grew. Do, do you like them? Aren't they beautiful? Uh, I wish I could bring a plant in right now that I would love to show you, Susan, but they're all in the garden. Another one that I absolutely love, I got to find how I'm going to get some more seeds, but an aster plant. I, I'm just falling in love. Aster plants are gorgeous. They're big, like, like they look like mums, but they come in the colors of the rainbow, which I didn't know. At first, I thought they were only going to be in one color. So they come into this deep purple and a light pink and a deep pink and a white. I saw some in your video. Yeah, those are, I, I just, I went crazy growing it. And what happened was I wish I would have, did, didn't lost the footage to do a video on it. I lost the footage on the asters to show you how I grew it and, and the plant, but I, I lost the video. So now I have, I got to do it again is what I'm trying to tell you. I will do a video on asters because that's how much I love them and I'll promote them. Um, they are gorgeous looking. Like I said, a vibrant purple, a beautiful deep um, fuchsia pink kind of, a light pink, a white. I don't know if I'm done yet. I don't know if that's the four colors I've seen so far um, and just gorgeous. And then, what happens is they end up fluffing up. Like the ones I see in the video, I think I stunted them, which made them look even more better. What happened is I kept them the longest time in my greenhouse because they were getting too old. I couldn't put them outside. So I kind of stunted their growth by leaving them in the greenhouse. When I put them outside, they started growing, but I had stunted them already. So mostly they have flowers more than they have leaves and they're gorgeous that way. I would do it again. I would kind of stunt the plant to show you you will end up with more flowers than leaves. You too, Souza. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic one. Thank you for coming. Um, that's that's absolutely great. Check me out in the morning. You can check out the little caterpillar at night. Whew. So, Asters was fun. Like I said, um, what else? Oh, I got something else growing. I, um, but I'll show you tomorrow. Like I'll put the plants out here because these are all going to be videos. You're just I'm just showing you what they look like because they're in my window. Like I said, the cucumbers. I'm trying something. They're going to be a video on uh, something to do with cucumbers. I want to see if I can actually grow them in a pail. So there is a video how to grow cucumbers already on my my channel, but not one in a five gallon pail. So I'm starting them indoors, and then they're going to go to the pail, and I'm going to see if I can actually get cucumbers. Um, in either a five or 10 gallon pail. So that's why you're seeing those ones. 
The other one is a, a, a particular squash I'm growing. And these ones are particular beans. So right now I'm going to have three different videos on three different kinds of beans because I thought I'd experiment with beans. Um, I messed up my cukes. You did? Why? These are the baby ones right here. These are my baby cucumbers right there. See how did they look? Um, and I want to show you something, guys. I think, Susan, you were paying attention to something. A lot of people aren't paying attention to the videos. I want to show you a really important fact that a lot of people are not doing. And I should show you the do's and don'ts of gardening. Because I can't stand those little packs. You know where they tell you? Now, gardens will grow that. Um, I wish I had them to show you. I don't have them right here. My daughter gave them, and I said, I won't touch them. I don't like them. You know, you can get these little teeny things, and you put a seed per seed into each pack. Um, and the little things that are all designed, and you pay a lot of money for all these stupid little things. Um, what are they called? You know what I'm talking about? They, you, they come in... Every gardener uses them. A lot of the gardeners and a lot of top quality gardeners do it. Those little peat moss pack things or whatever. Um, I don't like them. I tried. And you know what the thing is with that? If you do not water them constantly, your stuff's going to die. The, the minute you dry it out, it's gone. This system works for me. And I've shown you all, all kinds. Yeah, pods. This right here. Look at this cheap little plastic thing. Look at the roots in here, too. I want to show you something. This is I and no one's paying attention to this. I know they're not because they keep growing it separately. And and but look, can you see the root system in here? Let me move my little baby out. It's gonna come back because technically that's the highlight of the show, not this. But look, can you see? I I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to fall out. But look, not one hole is under here. It's a solid container. I bought. I don't know if I. <gasps> hey, enough. <laughs> see, they're getting bossy with me. Give me a second. I gotta go. Uh, I'm not bossy. Here, let me put the thing. I'll be right back. I gotta take control over the bossy one. Here, here, boss. Here. Okay. Okay. I fed you already. Here, I'll give you this. Okay. Here we go. There we go. All right. Yes, I, I give her a hard time, and then I give her a treat. <laughs> I'm so mean to my dog. Ah. Yeah, I told her to be, be like, she gets bossy with me, and I gotta give her heck, and then I give her a treat. I'm crazy like that. Um, I don't beat my dog up ever. All right, anyways, I'll go back now that she she's like a little kid that I'm talking, and you, you, okay, mom, 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 come on, mom, mom. And it's like, stop it. Let me finish my conversation. Dog getting his, oh, she does. She does. I love her to death. You know that. You guys know who know me. Well, I love my dog, but she's just a little pain in the butt like a little kid. Anyways, that's, look it, guys. No holes, right? No holes. A container that's, what is this? Six by six inches, like square. Um, I want to show you. I was going to do this for another day because I didn't really want to show you all my plants here, but. This is a container I grow things in. Look at it. Every video that you've seen that I grow, when I grow it for this purpose, I'm showing you um, how good they grow. It's not, I didn't pay a lot of money. It's like, a, I don't know if it's a potato salad container or whatever with a lid, but that's how I grow it. And they're amazing. And I want to show you that. So the next time you watch a video, pay attention to how I'm growing things because I'm proving it to you that this is the main, I don't go get any containers, whatever works for me, I keep doing. So like beans and stuff, I put beans and peas in directly in a cup. That seems to work pretty nice, right? Um, a lot of squash works nice. You can put it in a paper towel or it works directly in a cup, works nice. Um, and look, at, I can show you, it just amazes me. Wait a minute, I'm gonna hide you because I don't, I don't, you don't need to see my beautiful body. Um, of course, I'm being sarcastic, but look, this is another one I'm going to show you. Look, look at the kind of container I'm using. I uh, have it, have it. Look at this one. Here it goes. There, you know what? This is it right here. Hey, baby, sorry, I'm talking to my caterpillar. So, let me move this out of the way here. These are upcoming videos, okay? Anthony, hello. I hope you all get a chance to watch my upcoming videos because I'm just showing you and you're going to see the little knots in here that I told you are really annoying me. But what do you think this is? 
Look at how many are coming up in there. Same way, no hole, same square container. Ta-da, look. And um, these, I, I'm crossing my fingers, the little freaking knots, you can see even the bug flying by. I told you, that's the part that drives me absolutely crazy that I've been trying to figure out. Anyways, there it is, get out. Um, what do you think these are? These are flowers. And I've never grown them. I always grow them at least once. I'm fantastic, Anthony. Thank you for joining me. How are you doing? So this, my friends, they're awesome. This is um, <laughs> carnations. Susan, look what a carnation looks like. Look what a carnation looks like. That This is the start of a video. I've already started the video, and this is a, a different stage of carnations. Um, somewhere, I have the lid on it, so I have the date. I started taking the, I use the lid on it, and when it starts to get big enough, then I gradually take the light so it gets used to the sun. I keep it wet, and I spray it every day, every morning, and at night to make sure this top part is just damp. Again, no holes. Ready? You want to see this again? I'm going to show you something else. Um, all right, so this is getting out of the way. Same method. What do you think this is? Oh, hi. <laughs> you guys see me. Yay, in my well shirt. Hi. Got a little carried away. But anyways, what do you think that is? Hi, Anthony. What do you think this is? Look at the cool colors of that. Same thing. Uh, I don't want to drop it, but look on the bottom. Only it's got less dirt, but because a lot of plants don't need as much dirt as people allow it for when they're starting out. What do you think that is? Eyes stink. Oh, you can't. Are they? Your eyes stink. Look at. I want. It's okay. Can you? Can you see it now? What does that look like to you guys? Any idea? But look at how many. Look at what's going on here. And they're coming up. You got a really tall one here, and you got a little tiny one there, right here. Here's a tall one and a tiny one right there. Um, these are beets. That's what beets look like. That's beets. Um, I don't have the lid to tell you how old they are, but I'm doing a, a video on beets. See? Um, and look at, I thought they were amazing, the color. Because look, you got, they kind of are green and purple. It's beets. That's what it is. That's what beets look like when they're growing. See, now, uh, my same method, I'll be very gentle with them when I take them out. And put them into cups after. They're not big enough. I want them a little bit bigger than this, a little stronger. And then I'll pull them out. And they'll be all separate cups. Just like I start these out with like that. That's a separate cut. It didn't look like that when I first started out. Let's swap this out. See, that was in the, the containers like that. Like this. And then I swap them out. Separate them. And that is what that looks like. And they all seem to... I put them, I date them here. Look it. It says, this one's a butternut squash, which will be a video later. I planted this 20th of June, but I started them all 11th. And um, I only did so many because I only have so much sections to do. So I don't do, like, I'm not a farmer here. I experiment and I only do so many. And if it's something I really like, then I'm going to do a whole bunch of them. And, and flowers, I kind of do a whole bunch of them because, well, they can go anywhere. They can fit anywhere in any kind of pot. Um, this could be a video too. I actually could see if I could grow a squash in a pot, but it's not, that's the video mainly is because I'm doing butternut squash and I never did that before. So that's what butternut squash looks like. The leaves look really good. Not bad. See, that's going to be the second leaves and the third comes out. <clears throat> now I've turned this into a, a garden video channel and I, that's not exactly what I was supposed to do, but Hey, that's me. Let me move this all out of the way. <clears throat> let's go back to what the real show is there's the show before i get off guys so
So, so anybody want to learn from me on here? You go check my videos out. You can ask me when I'm live streaming questions, what, what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm also helping. Oh, look at this. This just fell off. This is interesting. That just fell off. But look, it's my plant back here. Right there. It's right here. But if you look at it closely, I, I, I didn't pull it off. It came off by accident. And this is a succulent. And look, it has little roots in between it all. See? All the, all the roots. I could actually cut this in sections, which I already have done. I've already planted this. And you can put that in, and that would be roots in here. So technically, watch what I'm going to do right in front of your eyes. I'm going to snap this. I'm going to pull the leaves, the bottom leaves off of here. See? this is. I don't know the name of it. That's why I was asking people. I'm not sure what name of the succulent is. But, um, and then I'm going to, I think I'll use this bottom section. And then it's going to pull all this in. And now that's going to go in water. And these will form roots and be a plant. And I've already done lots of these already. So I know for a fact. I just don't know the name of this. But, uh, oh, yeah. See, there's my baby. And I'm gotten sidetracked again. Give me a second. I want to show you something, though. But it's plants. And I'm supposed to be talking about my baby. And I'm not. But, hey, you're getting nervous me. Get me started. Can't stop. Maybe I should show you that side of me. Look. Look at this. I'm rooting things all the time to check to see if it roots out. Um, I tried, yeah. I wish I could find out what the name of the succulent is. Uh, I, I label everything now once I know what they are, but I don't know. So there you go. That's, um, I root things. I, everything I find, I put it in. Can you root it? Um, will it grow, grow? I do it all the time. All the time I'm doing this stuff. Besides growing from seed, I, I'm just on the gold gardening, all the stuff. Um, I want to show you. I got to go back. I'll be back in a minute to grab something. All right, guys. I can go on and on, but I'm not supposed to be doing this. This is supposed to be about my caterpillar, but look. Okay, so that piece I just rooted, right? Oh, you leaving? Bye. Have a good one, Cicerella. Hey, Rachel. How's it going? That's our baby today, Aunt Rachel. Aunt Rachel, Aunt Cicerella. It's right there. That's the baby today. Aunt Demi, call it what you want. All right, so what I wanted to show you was kind of fascinating, and I'll put this at the end in a minute. Okay, so I just showed you this plant right here, right? It fell off. I showed you. I cut it down. This is what I did. This is that one from this plant. I already, I already did it. Want to see what it looks like? Here it is. Look at the flowers. That's this plant was that section that I rooted, and it became a plant here. So look at the. The kind of cool flower. Maybe you could tell from the flowers there, um, Susan, what it is. Right here. Let me lift it up a bit. Whatever that is. Whatever succulent this is, that's what I want to get the name for. But look at how cool it is. That was just a piece that I planted, like I showed you, I rooted it, put it in this container, and this is what it became. Kind of cool, eh? All from that mother plant. So I'm gonna put that in the background, but you get the idea what I'm doing here. And uh, there it is. Let's go back to ending my live stream because I'm already an hour and I really wasn't supposed to be on here that hour.
but the, there it is. It still hasn't eaten yet, but see. Yeah, there are little flowers on it. Yeah, Susan. I'm going to let you be my expert on figuring this out. You're good at that. So can you take a, you want to take a screenshot and figure it out what it is? That's, that's that plant. And, and it's a succulent. I know that much. I just don't know what the name of the succulent is. Um, hey, Sakuna, shop them. Hi. Look at, look at the baby. Aunt Sakuna. It's okay. You stop by. It's good to see you. There's Aunt Rachel, Aunt Susan, whoever, M Uncle MT, somewhere in there. That's what the baby looks like on my vlog today. Yeah, it's pretty big, eh? It's not bad. Look, you can see it um, right there. I'm just so showing some garden stuff right here. Um, so, Susan, I'll let you, you can, you want me to give you a closer shot of this and then you, maybe you can. Uh, investigate to figure out what it is. I owe you a lot. I know some plants because of you. I know what a dumb cane looks like now, uh, which I didn't know. So I have a dumb cane going on, a corn um, a corn cane. Um, and this one is uh, a succulent. Of, uh, Lord knows what it is, but it's a cool succulent. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to move up the baby away. And let me bring this closer. Can you... Um, Whoa, I want to knock my thing off. Oof, gotta be careful. Can you, you want to screenshot that? You want it closer? Um, like that? Can you screenshot it? That's what the flowers look like on it. They're green. They're green flowers, like greeny white kind of flower on it. Because I know you have that plant matching thing you have. Um, right there some more. Aren't they pretty? So, again, I got to be careful. You know how I wrecked a, a computer, so I got to be careful. I don't put this uh, plant too close to it. Um, that's what I want to say. It's got a lot of water in it. Now, see, it's hard on the top, but I some of these I water from the bottom, and it works much better for my plants. If I water from the bottom, there's this one. I want to know what it is. Susan, this is another one. I want to know what it is too. This one here. I don't know what it is, but I want to know what it is. Um, right there. That one. Um, let me, I, I, I got to bring it closer to it. See, that's the one right there that I want to know what the leaves has got. Um, how many leaves has it got? One, two, four, six. Let me see if I have two, four, six, eight. Seven, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, eight. Roughly seven, eight leaves that plant has, and I don't know what it is. Oh, you can't screenshot, no? Well, it's okay. Maybe somebody will figure this out, what this is. I'm gonna, I want to find out, then I'll mark it. Some of the, the plants I have, because I don't know. I pick things along the way, and I try to grow them. And this one's not picked. This was sent to me as a plant. The big one was a plant. Um, and it's just going crazy. And then I went, I wonder if I could root it. So I took a piece, rooted it, and then it became this plant. And I have a bunch. I have some downstairs in the greenhouse, too, of this particular plant. I, I know it's a succulent. I don't know. I should maybe start looking up succulents, and maybe by that white flower, it might give it away what it is. Anyways. So, see, I'm not kidding. I'm always gardening, always doing something. I'm just showing you real life here. That's me. You know, I got other things I didn't show you in the window that I'm starting. But so far, I've showed you um, what things look like small because they're all going to become a video after. And see, I got the gnats uh, trying to bug me. Uh, I'll try to open on replay. Oh, okay. All right. You want me to, um, here, I'm going to put this right on that flower. Let's see if you can do anything, Susan. Right here, I'll leave it for a couple minutes. I want the point is this is the the other one. I want to know what that is. Right there, this one. The tall, it's tall. The succulents on the side, but right where I'm showing you the leaf is another plant that I want to know what that is. I kind of like the look of this plant. I'm going to transplant it pretty soon because I think it's getting too big. It's going to have to come out uh, pretty soon of that pot, and then I'll just use a pot for something else. But 
You can see it's tall. And there's my baby. So you guys, I'm going to eat dinner now. Um, I came on for an hour. I didn't really want the replay that long, but I love you guys. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, if you can't get it, we'll try it again. We'll figure it out together. I leave that for you for a task for give you something to do, Susan. If you can come up with names that I don't know the names of, that would be something for you to do. If you can't do it, don't, don't feel stressed out about it, but just a little task that might be fun for you to figure it out. Um, and then I can label it after. Yeah, we'll see you later, guys. I might be on the other channel, maybe later. I don't know yet. But uh, right now, until then, this is um, my little girl saying goodbye to you. And this is day six. So I'll see you in the morning for you guys, or I'll see you at night. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Let me do a really close up of this little baby. Yeah, me too. I'm going to have enjoyed it. Thanks, Akuna. Bye, doll. Bye, guys. Love you. I'll see you later.